signal. Jigger's alive. Not for long if that dragon has its way. It will not. Do you see what I'm seeing? A lightning bolt. Except it's frozen? Like the one made in my fight with Thor. But why would there be one just like it here in Vanaheim? Huh. That growth thingy looks weird. Ah, oh, isn't that interesting? What is it? Haven't a clue. Hence the interest. Crystals are valuable. Perhaps we'll find a use for it. That journal he dropped could tell us more. Of lies. Written by Birka. Perhaps that's who this fella has it out for. I don't understand. And you used to live here? It's just a crater. It wasn't a crater when they lived here, lad. Something happened to it. What? Like an explosion? 
It'd have to be huge. Tresses claim to watch at Scarvey, but they kill just to kill. She would have never wanted that. No. There is purpose here, even if we do not see it. Tremors in Vanaheim. Something is causing this.
those say they're doing here? Some Vanir turned to dark magic to defend themselves from the Aesir. There were consequences. <laughs> <laughs> What's it say, brother? between rounds when you got a move. Dragon again. No, a different one. Either way, you guys. Oh, my God. 
whole again. It would uncloud my mind. I could find peace. Five hours due north. Two hours east. I said I would find this valley. A new home. After the eight seer destroyed mine. So, what happened? I cannot remember. I know that I wanted a new life. Do you remember seeing anything that could help us find the other half of your hourglass? There were three waterfalls. I remember wishing I could live near them. This specter may be able to tell us what happened in this valley, brother. If the Leviathan throws that lightning, do you think Mother was, you know, here? It means nothing. We do not know that Jane was here. True, but that frozen boat tells an unfinished story. If we want to know what really happened here, we need to know what that spirit remembers. Hmm. Then we go. There must be a way across. Have we looked everywhere? Another one of those mysterious crystals. There we are. Watch my head on these walls, brother. Am I not always careful with you? Oh, yeah. Always the lightest touch. If something destroyed this tunnel on its way through, it must be big. No matter the size, every creature has a weakness. Huh. Quiet all of a sudden. Always expect the unexpected, right? I just hope this means an end to all the shaking. Maybe by the time we're done in this valley, it won't be such a bad place to settle down. We should see if there are other dragons to hunt out in the crater. If we're gonna be, you know, healing the realm.
Another of Cavassier's poems. Look at that. Fancy a dip, brother?
Ah, another crystal. Best hold on to it until we can figure out what to do with it. React to us destroying that crystal? It would appear. The lands of Vanaheim are certainly more alive than those in other realms. Perhaps it's glad you got rid of that crystal. Huh. Seems like the pawn still wants something. What if you threw a crystal in? It worked! Look, it gave us a gift in return. Oh wow, that equipment will prove useful. Two crystal shards. I bet we'll get a reward for any we return to the pond. That's handy. Good thing we collected all those crystals in the first place, eh? Spring, time of rebirth, renewal. Oh, I've missed the spell of those fights. I'm sorry, kid, <laughs> just come back already. the Valiant Schematics, eh? You know of him. Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Gjallarhorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite riot. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Ah! rather important to discuss. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the four seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. 
Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilers asked me if I was too chicken to release them, but I am in fact not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it. Now then, any luck finding those lean worms? Seems we met another of your detachable emotional apparitions. Bit too twitchy to tell us his name, though. Ah, you must mean anxiety. Oh, no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Sadly. What? Oh, dear, oh, dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, bitter. Are you sure? Yes, anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah, people! Well, there it is. Should I have anything else for you, you'll be the first to know. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because you make things better. You always have. Since, since we were kids, I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. You know... <clears throat> Do you know we used to lead Vanaheim together when we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, you know, she did the leading. I just tried to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership, not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> really? Your group back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well... I can inspire people, I guess. Eh, you get them to see the best in themselves, you know? I don't know if that's leadership. It's more like, um... Like a muse? Wait. Like... like a what? A muse. Father told me about that. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? Well, why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Well, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I I would be a natural. Oh. What were we talking about? Ingvi, you must rest. You understand? You must. Please, just. Stop talking. Okay, I'm sorry. But someone was gonna fill us in on what happened with Heimdall, right? Is that what's happening? Patience. Love. What now? The riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? Love. What kind of chub buffling relationships you been in, Amir? That don't make any sense. Agreed. Oh, fun. I won't be lectured on the nature of a romance by the two of you duffers. Ah, yes. Bigger the more you take away at the... Oh. Closet again. 
again? Mm-hmm. Seems to help them, I guess. Good fit. Hey, you can take my bed if you'd be more comfortable. Ah, this uh, thing is perfect, but thank you. Freya, we've hardly gotten to talk since Midgard, but I'm glad you're here. Hmm. You envisioned us working together at a time it seemed impossible. It's a rare thing being able to imagine a better future. I'm glad you could. Hey, you think Enough. so? Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can't. Use... Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Trace, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye, and once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too.
hope you know what you're doing. I do too, son. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have it. And therein lies a tale. Is this crazy? No, no. I can do this. <laughs>